I think the one thing about Gettleman is this, it was a comfort hire for the New York Giants. Listen, he has a history there. Ernie, of course, he brought him in. Basically, uh, he was his boss years ago with, with the New York Giants. It was on, with the search team when he got, got hired in the Carolina Panthers. So you know, there's a comfort zone for the New York Giants as far as Gettleman is concerned. Look, I, I'm with Dominique as far as the fact that, you know, I like the coaches and the, and the GMs to have to be looking through the same lens. Much like the Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch hire yes. that came about. These guys have the same idea of what they are looking for, and even to the point to where you're looking for a quarterback, defense alignment, special teams. You are mm -hmm. looking through for this exact same athlete with Gettleman coming in. This is going to be a little bit awkward now coming in. He's, he's going to be bringing on a, a head coach who may not be looking through the same lens as he, he does because Gettleman is a very conservative, yeah. uh, non-emotional man. But at the same time, you are I, I agree with Dominic. You are dealing with personalities within that locker room who are extreme. Odell mm -hmm. Be Beckham is one who is definitely extreme. And if Gettleman can get in control of Odell Beckham and understand where he needs to go as far as bringing on a quarterback, then he's done his job because he's going to have to draft a quarterback early. This is a tough job in New York. It's going to be a hard job to fill. I agree with you guys that in a perfect world, you'd bring in the GM and the coach at the same time. We've seen how it's working out in San Francisco, in Seattle, obviously for years. Yeah. It's been it's been going great. But the problem is this isn't a perfect world. And a lot of the coaches they're looking at, particularly the coordinators in New England, you hear linked to New York a lot. They're not going to be available for a while. So they had to go out and get the general manager they wanted. Why? Now, as far as the personality issue, you know, we're, we're talking about Odell Beckham Jr. And, and Josh Norman, Steve Smith, how he clashed with them. That wasn't about personalities, guys. That was about two players who he felt were in the twilight of their careers. And again, I believe he made the right decisions there. Odell Beckham Jr. is a generational talent. We can't group them together and say, oh, because Dave Gettleman got rid of Steve Smith Sr., he's going to get rid of Odell Beckham Jr. That's just crazy. He's a smart guy. He knows players. And I do believe he's going to try to hold on to him and Landon Collins. It's the right thing to do for the team. Well, I mean, Josh Norman was in his prime when they had their issue, but I don't understand to the, point that, him. Uh, to, the, to the point that you made about they didn't immediately. They had a lot of trouble filling that cornerback spot, and they still need help at corner. But anyway, the, to your, your, your point about they had to get their guy, I don't understand what the rush is. This isn't yeah. college. You, need to, you don't need to go out and start recruiting. Like, the, the draft boards do not fluctuate that much, and it's not like he's going to go out and do all the scouting. The it's more important to make the right decision than make a fast decision. Yeah. And I, I'm not completely sure um, I mean, Beckham and Collins will be, coming, will be coming up on contract situations soon. And I'm not sure that it won't go the way of Josh Norman. And the New York media and the New York fans will not be comfortable with that. I promise you that. They're going to side with the players that have provided for them before they're going to side with Dave Gettleman, who... Uh, hasn't done. I mean, you can go back to the time when he was uh, he was a player personnel guy, but I don't think they give those championships to him. I, I think the one thing you're going to see with Gettleman though is this, I, I think, and I think the Giants and the Mara family feel comfortable with this. He's a guy that's going to be able to handle. He's going to have the, the, the thick enough skin to handle the New York media because he's been there before. He understands everything that goes. He understands the landscape in New York. I, and, and the one thing he's going to have to do. There's two big decisions he's going to have to make. First of all, replacing Eli Manning. That's going to be a huge decision. They feel like he'll be able to handle that and take on all the criticism that goes along with that situation. And secondly, dealing with the personnel. We just talked about it. Dealing with the personnel in that locker room. You cannot be emotional when you have to make those tough decisions because, again, Odell Beckham being one. Brandon Marshall, the decision to figure out what's, what his future at the same time. An offensive line that has been horrific. Well, for the last hiring, couple of years. There's right, so many decisions you have to make. Well. That's right. Yes. And, and that's what Dave Gettleman specializes in, Darren. I'm glad you brought up the line. He loves those he building in the trenches, the hog mollies, he called them in Carolina. Yeah. If you want to get a guy to come in and fix that part of the Giants, you take the guy who did it back right. in 2007 who was very focused on the lines.